Hello everybody. Today we are going to learn about quadratic functions. We have so many types of function, but uh, we talk about the linear function. The linear function is of the form ax plus b. Quadratic function is the form ax square plus bx plus c and the cubic function is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d and the linear function a and b are constant in a quadratic function a b and c are constant and in a cubic function a b c and d are constant in linear function a cannot be zero in a quadratic function also a cannot be zero and in a cubic function a cannot be zero if a is going to be zero here the linear function will become a is, is a constant so it will not be a linear function quadratic function if a is zero it will become a linear function so we are talking about quadratic function so this is a general form or the general formula for the quadratic function that is ax square plus bx plus c as i told you a cannot be zero if a is zero this first term will become zero and it will become bx plus c that is of the form of a linear function b can be zero so it will be x square plus c c can also be zero so it will be ax square plus bx for example 3x square plus 2 4x square minus 3x 2x square plus 3x minus 4 they are all the examples of quadratic functions let's talk about the linear function with an example let's have 2x plus 3 is equal to 9 so if we solve it 2x will be 9 minus 3 is equal to 6 and x will be So linear equation is having just one value because the linear equation is just a line and it intersect x axis at one place. So all the linear equations have one value. Now we talk about the quadratic equation. Quadratic equations are having two values of x. That values may be same, that may be real and that may be imaginary values generally a quadratic graph the graph of a quadratic equation intersect the x-axis at at two places so we have two values of x Let's 
let me remind you if ax square plus bx plus c is a function is a quadratic function then ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is a quadratic equation now let's find how these quadratic equations are formed let's see let's say a quadratic graph is intersecting x-axis say at point minus 1 and 2 so the value of x is negative 1 so we can write it like x plus 1 and x minus 2 when we multiply it as I told you earlier x multiplied by x minus 2 and plus 1 multiplied by x minus 2 so that is x square minus 2x plus x minus 2 so that is x square minus x minus 2 its equation so it is equal to 0 so that is how the quadratic equation is formed these values are called roots of equation or the values of x or the solution of quadratic equation so if a equation is given to you in this form and it is asked find the roots of the equation so you have to find this roots values of x is the same thing or the solution this is the solution x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 2 there are four ways to solve and quadratic equations the first method to solve the quadratic equation is by factorization second method to solve the quadratic equation is completing the square third method to solve is using formula and the fourth method is graphical method now there are few equations which you can solve by factorization but it's the easy method some equations is easy to solve using completing the square almost all the equations can be solved by using the formula and there are some equations quadratic equation you can solve using graphical method we are going to discuss all this equation all these methods one by one of solving quadratic equation so let's talk about the solving quadratic equation using factorization now let's take an example of solving quadratic equation x square plus 8x plus 15 first we have to factorize it then we'll solve it so in this this is a term having x square this is the term having 8x and this one is 15 so we will factorize this number we'll try to find all the factors of 15 
So the factors of 15 are we can have 1 multiply 15. Other factors of 15 is 3 multiply 5 is 15. I think these are the two methods. Now what we are going to do, we concentrate on this term. 8 plus 8. Now if I add 15 plus 1, that is 16. 15 minus 1, that is 14. 3 plus 5 is 8. And 5 minus 3 is 2. Irrespective of what is the, the sign, let's see. So we have this combination. Now we can see our middle term or the coefficient of x is 8. And we are getting 8 here. So we are going to split this 8 into these two parts, 3 and 5. So we can write this as x square plus, we split that 8 as 3 plus 5 x plus 15 is equal to 0. We open the bracket x square plus this is 3x plus 5x plus 15 is equal to 0. So what we have done, we have factorized 15 and I have written 8 as the sum of the difference of those factors. So 3 and 5. You know that 3 and 5 is a 8x. Now what we are going to do. We have to take these two terms. Separate. Now these are the linear functions. Now in this we can see that x is common. So this term is x multiply x plus 3 multiply x. Plus this term is 5 multiply x plus 3 multiply 5 is equal to 0. Now x is common here. So we'll take x out. So the remaining will be x plus 3. So we write here x plus 3. Plus. We can see 5 is common here. So we take out 5. And the remaining is x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now we can see here there is another common term. That is x plus 3 is here and x plus 3 is also here. So we are going to take this x plus 3 common. Now the remaining is x plus 5 is equal to 0. So what we have done, we have done the factorization. Okay. Now we have two terms. And the product of two term is zero. If I say I multiply two numbers and the answer is zero. So it means either this one is zero or this one is zero. This is eight. Suppose this term is eight and this is zero. One must be zero or this is zero and this is say seven. So here it's a, the first term is x plus 3, so either if it is 0, so what will happen? So let us assume x plus 3 is equal to 0. So x will be negative 3. And if x plus 5 is equal to 0, then x will be negative 5. So this is the solution of our quadratic equation. So we have got two values. X is negative 3 and negative 
5. So this is our, this may be our graph for that. So these are the two values. Now let's try to solve the same equation, x square, quadratic equation, x square plus 8x plus 5 by the factorization but using another method. Let's let's say that we have x and x. x multiply x is x square. Now we find the factors of 15. Let's say the factor of 15 is 3 and 5 is equal to 8. There is a factor of 15. So, now if I multiply this x by 3, I will get 3x. If I multiply this x by 5, I will get 5x. And we need plus 8. So, we have to add this to 3x plus 5x, 8x. So I'm going to write here plus and I'm going to write here plus because both are plus. So now, the factors will be x plus 3 the factors will be x plus 5 is equal to 0. So the value of x will be minus 3 plus 3 is 0. So x is minus 3 and minus 5 plus 5 is 0. So x is minus 5. So here you can see that the method number 2 is, is very short but you need a lot of practice to do it. Let's take another example. Let's say we have to solve this equation x square plus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0. So we have x square here. So we write it like that way. x and x. The factors of 10 2 multiply 5. So this is 2 and this is 5. If we multiply x by 2, we have 2x. If multiply x by 5, we have 5x. And if we add it, we get 7x. So this will be plus and this will be plus. So our factors will be x plus 2 and x plus 5 is equal to 0. So values of x will be minus 2 and minus 5. Let's take another example. x square minus 11x plus 26. So we write it in the cross form. This is x and x that is x square. Now 26. 13 multiplied 2 is 26 and 13 minus 2 is 11. So we will write 13 here and we will write 2 here. 13 and 2. If we do the cross multiplication, we will find this is 13x and this cross multiplication this is, this is 2x. Here we have minus 11. So we put negative here and positive here. So minus 13 plus 2 is minus 11x. Now this 13 is having a negative number. This 12 is having a positive number. So our factors will be x minus 13 and x plus 2. So the solution of this equation will be x is equal to 13 and minus 2. You can see this is a very easy method. So far we have solved all those questions where a was 1. The coefficient of x square was 1 but let's try to solve this quadratic equation. 
where a is equal to 3. Now let's use the same method. Let's try if it is going to work. Now we write 3x here and x here. 3x multiply x is 3x square. Now we have 8 and we have 10 here. So the factors of 8 is, I think we have only factors of 8 is we have 1 multiply 8 also. Let's, let's try to find this one. 4 and 2. This is 4 and this is 2. Now 3x multiply 2 will be 6x and x multiply 4 will be 4x. So if we add it, we are having 10x. But their product is negative. So 1 must be negative. Now you can see that this, this is not making any sense. Because 4 plus 6 is 10. That is okay. But this is a negative sign. So 1 must be negative. So it's, it's not going to help. So let's try to change these positions. Let me write 2 here and 4 here. Now let's see. 3x multiply 4 is 12x and x multiply 2 is 2x. We need plus 10, so 10 minus 2, so it will be 10x. So this is a negative and this is a positive. So it will be 3x plus 2 3x plus 2 3x plus 2 and this will be x minus 4 So our solution will be 3x plus 2 is equal to 0, so x will be minus 2 over 3. And x minus 4 is equal to 0, so x will be 4. So we are having these two solutions. You have to understand one thing that when you write these numbers, when you write the factors of this, you have to check whether the product is coming as in our this example it was coming 10 but we needed one negative because this is negative it would have been okay if this was plus 8 so let's take another example now let's talk about this quadratic equation 6x square plus 9x plus 15 if you are trying to solve it by this method let's say this is 6x and this is x. Now 15. Let's say we have the factors of 15, 3 multiply 5. Let's write 5 here and let's write 3 here. 5 times x is 5x and 6 times 3 is 18x. Now 18 plus 5 is not equal to 19 and 18 minus 5 is also not equal to 19. So we have to shift these positions. Let's write 3 here and let's write 5 here. Now let us see. 6x multiply 5 is 30x.
So as you can see that we are, we are not getting any combination where the the resultant of this x is coming 19. It's not coming 19. Even here is not coming 19. So let's let's do some some changes. Now we try to change this thing. Let's factorize 6 also. So let's write 3x and 2x. And let's write 5 and 3. Now 5 times 2 is 10x and 3 times 3 is 9x. Now we are getting 19x and both are positive. So this is positive and this is positive. So our solution is 3x plus 5 and 2x plus 3. So if 3x plus 5 is equal to 0, x will be minus 5 over 3. And if 2x plus 3 is equal to 0, x will be minus 3 over 2. This is a very short method, less time consuming, but you need a lot of practice to see what you are going to write here and what you are going to write there. There, there are some combinations, but with the practice you will find that it's a very easy method to solve quadratic equations by factorization. In our next topic, we will try to solve the quadratic equation using completing the square. That is also a very interesting method. Till then, have a nice time. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.